Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torgros here. Welcome to the M Live Morning Weather Update. A rain coming and no talk of snow from me. That's pretty bizarre for this time of the year. Uh, let's get right on into it. And I guess the good news is if you're uh, doing some traveling, you won't have to deal with ice. Now, we do have thick fog and almost all stations reporting a quarter mile of visibility. Some spots like Traverse City reporting an eighth mile of visibility. Uh, so mild chapters, but also on the foggy side. So let's get into it and uh, show you what is going on here. Let me grab my maps. And there we go. So this is the current radar and note the rain developing down to the southwest in Missouri and uh, Arkansas and then down on the Gulf Coast. That is more, uh, hey, David Kamsa, you are welcome for the in-depth forecasting. That is coming from the Southwest. And you know, systems like that always bear quite a bit of moisture in our region. So I'll look at some of these observations. Uh, Adrian, quarter mile visibility. Bad Axe, less than a quarter mile. Uh, Detroit Metro, half mile. Uh, Flint, quarter mile. Hillsdale Hall, quarter mile. Much of these, quarter mile. Jackson, Lansing, uh, Jackson, half mile visibility. Midland, quarter mile visibility. Uh, eighth mile visibility at the MBS import, uh, airport. All right. Hey, good morning, Marilyn Castillo Hernandez. And Gary Clark reports foggy in Traverse City. Fruitport checking in this morning. Good morning to you. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Okay, so here we go with our radar forecast. And you'll see the rain that's to our southwest starting to come in today. So this is five o'clock this afternoon, six, seven. So what I would say is toward sunset, we will have, you know, some spotty rain developing in the southern half of the state toward sunset. This is nine o'clock, 10, 11, midnight. The rain increases through the evening hours. And so quite a rain in the southern half of the state for dead of winter. Uh, January 25th, 26th. This is uh, 2 a.m., 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 a.m. Note, all rain, you know, maybe a wet flake of snow in the high areas, Gaylord, Grayling region mixed in there, but even there, it's rain. This is 9 a.m. tomorrow, a noon, 1, 2, and then we have a second wave of rainfall coming through in the afternoon and evening tomorrow again. All rain, maybe a little bit of wet snow mixed in the north toward the end as we get into Friday night. But uh, definitely it is, you know, more of like a, a late March type precipitation situation than you know, late January. Here's the total rainfall over the next 48 hours, you know, through Saturday morning when it's all done. And we're looking at an inch of rain. From Grand Rapids to Lansing to Jackson to the Ann Arbor, Saline area to uh, much of the Detroit area, you know, uh, surrounding that, you're looking at a half inch to an inch from Saginaw through Flint, um, north of Grand Rapids. And then you get into the northern half of the state and you get down to three, four tenths of an inch of rain, Traverse City, maybe two tenths, and you get north of Charlevoix and you're only looking at less than a tenth of an inch and into the... Um, Upper Peninsula also. So that's quite a rain for this time of the year. Uh, and if it was snow, how much would it be? In the 10 to 1 normal conversion, it would be 10 inches of snow. So now we look a little longer term. So this is our rain coming through tonight, tomorrow. We're going to call tomorrow showery and wet too. This is Saturday. Drying down quiet if you have to travel. Should be good, except we're still going to deal with the fog until we change the air mass, until we get a north-northeast wind that cools us a touch. And that probably happens Saturday night. This is Saturday night's 
early Sunday's forecast, that storm system misses Michigan to the south and east, has a hard time even with snow there in places like uh, Cleveland and uh, New York and northern Pennsylvania having a tough time to get in, into the snow. Uh, next Monday and Tuesday, now this shows, you know, maybe a little what we would call Alberta Clipper, a very quick one coming through on Tuesday with temperatures supporting rain and or snow, um, but not heavy, and uh, late next week as well. So really quieting down on the precipitation front. When I look at the extended ensemble mode out to 10 days out, I'm writing a post about this right now, it forecasts a total of about one or two inches of snow in the southern half of lower Michigan and um, about two or three inches in the northern half, which at this time of the year is probably quite a bit lower. We should probably have about 10 inches during that uh, time period. Today's highs, 40s in places, Grand Rapids, Lansing. Uh, we're already at 38 in a lot of places. Uh, tomorrow, highs near 40, most everywhere, including Traverse City in northern uh, Michigan. Hey, Tim Kowaleski, I gave it a shot. Good morning, Stockbridge. Dave Terry, hey, are you the Dave Terry I know? Thank you for watching. Good morning. Jeannie Mazarowski Rupp, good morning to you. I'm live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here. So, Saturday, highs, 40s in places, upper 30s in other places. Sunday, you know, near 40, a couple of degrees either side of 40. Monday, upper 30s. Tuesday, mid to upper 30s. Wednesday, upper 30s. Next Thursday, February 1st. February 1st. 40 degrees in a lot of places. Next Friday and next Saturday, this model wants to cool it. That's 10 days out. That's something you'd kind of expect, but it would still be slightly warmer than normal. Look at the 6 to 10 day forecast. We have an 87% chance of warmer than normal conditions into February 2nd and drier than normal too. 8 to 14 day forecast to February 6th. We're at a 78% chance of warmer than normal uh, conditions. Uh, Mark Alfier, another cold snap mid-February. More than likely, um, I don't know what we call a cold snap anymore. Was that last one a cold snap? Yeah, it was a pretty significant, you know, five-day stretch of cold weather. Um, fairly normal. Will one of those again come in the second half of February? More than likely, because cold air builds up at this time of the year, and it just can't stay up there the whole time. Hey, Tony McGurk, good to see you. Letty Trevino, good morning. So three to four week forecast also shows warmer than normal conditions into about mid-February. So can you see what I'm talking about? Not much talk here of <laughs> any sort of snow. So I guess use it to your advantage if you have to travel or something like that. Just be careful of the fog here over the next several days. It could be very thick. And have yourselves a great Thursday. We're heading into the weekend. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Take care. Bye.